Thank you for viewing this program on AeroGear's complete gearbox capabilities. AeroGear was founded in 1947 by James J. Cervinka and Frank E. Peelsticker. From modest beginnings, the company has grown at a steady pace over the years. Today, AeroGear is among the most technologically advanced gear companies in the world. As a result, Aero is respected worldwide as a supplier of spiral bevel and spur gears for high-precision commercial and aerospace applications. However, there is an aspect of Aero gear that is not as widely known as our loose gearing expertise. This is our capability for producing complete gearboxes. Our organization has produced more than 200,000 gearboxes over the past quarter century. In this program, we'd like to provide more information regarding our gearbox expertise and our background in the production of gearboxes. Early in Aero's history, the company founders were committed to growth and expansion in products and services. In 1974, looking to expand the company into the area of complete gearboxes, Aero purchased Johnson Gear. Johnson Gear, then located in Berkeley, California, was a producer of right angle drives for the agricultural market. Shortly after the purchase of Johnson Gear, the division was relocated to a new facility in Lincoln, Nebraska. Over the next decade, Aero expanded the product line of the Johnson Gear division, often performing prototype and specialty work for a variety of customers. This work included gearboxes for wind machines, commercial mixers, and military vehicles, among others. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Johnson Gear Division was producing large production quantities of gearboxes for the biomedical industry and the cooling tower industry. By the mid-1990s, Aero was pursuing other gearbox work, particularly in the aerospace industry. To meet the high demands of the aerospace work, assembly operations were being performed at the main plant in Downers Grove. By 1999, with the sale of the Johnson Gear Division, the irrigation right angle drive and cooling tower business was transferred to the new owners. However, Aero did retain all other projects, including its biomedical gearbox contracts. At this time, the balance of the gearbox assembly work was moved to the main plant. All gearbox production takes place in a separate area in the main plant. This clean room, equipped with environmental controls, contains all equipment required for a full range of assembly activities. Specially trained technicians perform the detailed tasks of assembling and testing gearbox components, meeting critical specifications. A variety of specialized equipment is used for this process. Ovens and freezers are used for mounting components. A printout provides documentation of the precise temperatures required for meeting customer specifications. A critical aspect of the assembly process is the testing of hydraulic pressure. To accomplish this, Aero is equipped with a pressure testing cell suitable for a wide variety of gearboxes. For checking gearbox housings, Aero is equipped with a coordinate measuring machine. This precision system is capable of inspecting a variety of different housings. Some gearboxes require rigid specifications for sound levels. To perform this test, Aero is equipped with a sound monitoring cell to ensure quiet operation. In some cases, Aero is required to test run or burn in the gearboxes. Here we're equipped with test cells for this purpose. As the variety of gearbox projects are diverse, Aero's assembly and testing area is equipped with a full range of equipment and skilled technicians to meet the most rigid customer requirements. Aero Gear has specialized in spiral bevel gearing since 1947. We consider ourselves, if not one of the best, the best company in the world for spiral bevel gears. That includes not only manufacture, but all the way up to all the machine settings and finite element on spiral bevel gears. This is rather unique. Only a few companies in the world ever offer that as a service. If you go for finite element, 
you're usually going to the manufacturer of the machine tools that make spiral bevel gears or you're going to a finite element house that's going to reconstruct something at an extreme cost. Either way, that's a very expensive proposition. We've learned enough about tooth contact patterns to use finite element as a tool to refine it even more. That puts us a step ahead of any of our competitors. We've been manufacturing spiral bevel gears so long and have produced so many unique designs, we feel we've probably done over 120,000 unique setups for spiral bevel gears. We can't think of anyone else who's done that. When most people say aero gear, they think spiral bevel gears. They don't think, they don't think spur or helicals or splines. Well, obviously we make quantities of all three of the others, the spur, helicals, and splines. Furthermore, they don't think of aero gear when it comes to gearboxes. What most people don't know is that we had a division in Lincoln, Nebraska, which was called Johnson Right Angle Gear Drive, division of aero gear. That company produced over 200,000 gearboxes. So we're not neophytes is what I'm saying. Well, most of our competitors don't offer design. Aerogear has been offering design for many years. Uh, our competitors just want to manufacture components to a blueprint where we feel we have to help a customer not only with the parts he's already got designed but with new components. So we have a strong background in helping our customers based on the experience we've seen, uh, fitting into industry standards. We participate in industry standards and international committees on gear design and gear boxes. So we have a, a wide background, both from our customers and from our own work. What we're seeing in the industry is companies are tending to be specialized and stick to an area of expertise. Many of our aircraft customers, for example, have pretty much gotten rid of their gearbox designers. They don't want to have numerous departments. They want to keep to their core product, their turbine blades, the engine themselves. So that leaves a large void in their design capabilities. They want to go outside and find that service. We want to be that service. Last year, Aero Gear produced almost 15,000 jet engine gears, not, not complete gearboxes, but accessory drive and power takeoff gears. Uh, last year we produced a total of almost 26,000 aerospace gears, uh, wing flap gears, gears for helicopters. Most gear companies in the United States that are not uh, captive houses uh, produce anywhere from 2,000 to maybe uh, 7,000 gears. And so uh, what I'm saying is we produce more than twice the number of gears for jet engines than any other gear company in the world. So obviously for us to grow and to become even a bigger loose gear manufacturer, in other words not making complete boxes but individual gears, probably would be possible but for us to, to have any significant growth we should go more into complete gear boxes. We want to sell gears and we want to put them into a component where we know the gears are going to perform satisfactorily. That's difficult to do today for co other companies. They can't do everything. So the gearbox is a natural expansion of our abilities since we understand how gears have to operate and what their requirements are. It's been said by numerous people that the most complex and hardest item to manufacture as far as the length of time and the manufacturing operational steps are the gears. It's not the housing, it's not the bearings, it's not the tubing, it's not the shims and the bolts, etc. But it's the gears. And since that's our expertise, uh, one would say then it's a natural evolutionary step for Aero Gear to become a prime player in uh, complete gearboxes.